Systematic Deception, the latest film from award-winning director Frank Panico, comes from Sorbo Studios, that's Sam and Kevin Sorbo, and producer Dr. Lisa Babbage from her book, The Black History Bible. This film is amazing. I'm gonna go over it, I'm gonna talk about this, and I will say that I am attached to this project, so it makes it reviewing it a little bit challenging, but thankfully, it's off the charts awesome, and I saw it before any of that happened, so I got brought on after the fact, so I can say this with a clear conscience, this movie rocks. You need to go see it and we'll talk about it now in my next conservative take. If you're unfamiliar with the way I did my movie reviews, please click the link right here and that will explain everything. Also, we have a spoiler section which we'll talk about some things that we may spoil some things. Not so much for this film, but right here we indicate that so you will know. So before we get into the story of this film, I'm gonna talk about a few projects, movies that have influenced me and influenced the score of this particular category. The three films that I wanna talk about quickly are first one, Emancipation, Revolution, Revelation, highly influential on me. Second one is Fear of a Black Republican, a film that I'm actually have a credit in because I was interviewed for the film, but it's all on the cutting room floor. And lastly is Uncle Tom. These three films say similar things from different ways, different, you know, different perspectives. Uncle Tom being similar because it's a narrative from people telling their experiences, but it doesn't have the scope that this particular film has. So I'm gonna give this film a five in terms of story simply because there is no arching story. There's no plot, there's no, you know, there's nothing like that. It's, it's a documentary, but the information is compelling. So typically documentaries don't get that high of a score, but five is gonna be for this. And I have a lot more to say on this film, why I find it extremely powerful. So for the emotional impact of this film, I'm gonna give it a seven because there's things in here that I've never heard before and it shocked me. And of course, hearing the same things over again made me infuriated, more angry. That's what these films do for me. I mean, just to know how much we've been bamboozled and lied to and how people just continue on mantra and it's just so easy correctable just through common sense through education and through a spiritual connection with God. So seven for emotional impact. So for the intangibles for this film, which is really important for me, it's going to be a seven, simply because a lot of this I've heard before and it is a rehash for me, a recap, just because I'm so involved in this. I do videos on this all the time. I read all the time on this. However, there's still nuggets in here, perspectives that were just incredible that you're not gonna hear anywhere else. You're not gonna hear these testimonies from anywhere else. So that's why these scores in this film are gonna go up because it's unique. And the importance of this film, the whole point of this film is to get that information out in a way that gets people to think, to look for themselves, to research, and to learn what's going on so they can think critically going forward because that's a superpower nowadays, thinking critically. Okay, for the category of watchability, this is gonna have a nine. It's 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 fantastic. And like I said before in the last section, that you won't get these testimonies from anyone because these people are experts in their own lives and experiences. They have incredible credibility telling the stories and talk about it to other people. And you see the common thread that goes on throughout that. But I will share a little bit about in the spoiler section. So for my overall score of this film, I'm gonna give it an eight. And I'll be remiss if I don't mention some of the cast members in this particular film. You have people like C.L. Bryant, who's like a, uh, he's like the OG for me. He was the first black conservative that I actually really listened to because he was authentic. He was a former NAACP leader who decided not to do um, that anymore because he was told to do something with um, abortion. He said, no, I'm not gonna do that. People like Colonel Allen West, Alveda King, the niece of Martin Luther King Jr. He's in this project and other people here as well from all walks of life. And the testimonies again are outstanding. So this eight is good because for me, I learned so much and so enjoyable that it needs to be uh, shared. Another point is this film is extremely current. Current events are like as of oh, about last week. Okay, so now we're into the spoiler section, and all I really want to say here is this, is that this film narration is dealing with God. It's dealing with tying the solution 
back to a relationship with God, get us back to the roots of what made black people in this country so great in terms of culture and innovation and so forth. It was from ties with the church and God that got us through slavery and Jim Crow and we had tight knit families and that kind of structure is what held us together. And that structure broke down from the church and not being involved anymore and the relationship with God being there. All of a sudden everything comes astray and the Democrats played a huge part in that. The liberalism attitude, the Marxist attitudes has played a huge part in that, especially when you deal with stuff like 1619 Project and you know, critical race theory, dealing with blacks as being victims and we have <laughs> no stake in the game that's all someone else is man putting us down. That is at the, the core detriment of what's going on. So that's what I want to say. I don't want to say too much because I want you to go see this film. It, it's, it's, it's great. You can go see it right now on the website. Check the links below. Go check it out. It's, it's awesome and I highly recommend it. And for my final rating, I give the score a 15 out of 20. That translates to 3.5 stars. And that's an extremely high rating for a film that I typically don't give that high of a score. But the reason why I did for this film, and it's not because I'm shilling for <laughs> the film I'm attached to, but it's because the information is the most important thing. When you have a documentary, the whole point of it is, is to persuade and to get people to think. And this film does that. It can get me to think at a level that I didn't think was frankly possible because I feel like I'm know it all sometimes then anybody can not to mention the production value is very good. Uh, Frank, who's the uh, director and cinematographer does an excellent job with his B roll footage was putting in sound at the right times. He's leaving certain things in that you would think, well, wow, why would you leave that in the film? It's so hard hitting and it hits you right in your chest and everyone is so authentic. And that's why this film gets such a high score because you're not going to get this information anywhere else. So yeah, 3.5. I'm totally good with that. It's fantastic. Definitely go check it out. That's going to be a go for my conservative take, obviously. So yeah. So let your friends and family know about it. It's, it's awesome. And so with that, what are your thoughts? Do you plan on seeing systematic deception? Let me know in the comments below. I'd be curious to know what you think. What are your thoughts on CRT 1619 project where victimization comes into play and why people continually let themselves be lied to by the government, by media and how that is so detrimental to our society. Film definitely brings that out. So let me know again. I'd be curious to know. And by the way, you can check out the film right now. Go to the links below in the description and on the screen of the website. You can go check it out for yourself right now. And if you like me doing this channel, we take pop culture and politics and filter to you in a conservative manner. That means filter to you right. And please check out some more videos that we have for you right here.